Welcome into the stream, everyone. How we all doing? Happy Saturday. All right. So far, we haven't killed any of these guys yet. I am impressed. I'm very impressed we haven't killed any of these guys yet. Let's see if we can't change that. Not on purpose, because I do want to try and, you know, save as many people as possible, but usually by now I would have at least killed one or two of them. Shoot, by Man of Medan, and uh, if I was playing Man of Medan by right now, I would have killed like half the kids. All right, let's jump on in. <clears throat> He doesn't seem to care about your bullets, guys. Just, uh, just a hunch. I don't think he really cares. We gotta go through it. The other way is safe. Go through. Move. It's also entirely possible you haven't killed any of these guys yet because we do have this on easy mode. So let's remember that we do have this on easy mode. Investigate the tape. Wait, what? Oh, oh, that's right. There's that reel to reel tape thing. Well, first of all, let's check this out. Okay. Eric, check this out. Is that a machine gun? How would it be a machine gun? Yeah, it is. It's a World War II model. Ties in with the time the archaeologists were here. What the fuck happened here? Someone opened up a can of whoop ass. That's what happened here. Where was the tape? The tape recorder was like over here ish. I think. Wait, there's still more stuff for me to look at over here. Oh, I was already over there. I was already checked this out. I don't want to look at it again. Alright, let's come around this way. Was this where the real route to real was? Not there. Okay, that's all the dynamite and shit. Oh, come on. Where was the real to real thing at? Wait, have I even looked at the tent? I don't think I've checked the tent out at all. Yeah, we haven't been in here at all. Randall, oh, okay, that was the dude. September the 24th, 1945. When Lady Bradshaw summons you, you go. Mary and I were bound for a honeymoon, but the chance to dine with one of Britain's finest antiquarians was too great for us to miss. When we met, Bradshaw wore a brooch that caught Mary's eye. A Sumerian relic recovered from a dig site in the Hashemite kingdom of Iraq. After dinner, she showed us another find from the same site. A gold cuneiform tablet. She called it the final puzzle piece in her life's work. A map that pinpoints the tomb of Alexander the Great. If she's right, the tomb lies somewhere on the border of Iraq. Lady Bradshaw wants us to lead her expedition. I realize now that our honeymoon will take place in a dusty dig site in the Sagros Mountains. Okay, well, oh, wait a minute. Wasn't, does, did Iraq even exist in World War II? Because I think that was one of the things that, like, people who, like, when they watch a movie, they 
they spot like a bazillion and one mistakes. Wasn't that one of the things? Was that like the map in Raiders of the Lost Ark was incorrect and in that it showed like Iran and Iraq? Was Iraq a, a country in World War II? I don't remember. Obviously, I wouldn't remember because I wasn't there. I'm not quite that old. But I seem to remember that that was a thing, was that... Guys. That Iran and Iraq were not around during World War II. Maybe I'm misremembering things. Remember, I'm re uh, remembering things wrong. Okay, I already checked that out. I already checked that out. Okay, let's go out of the tent. Um, where the fuck were... There was a corner with the real the real tape player. Where was it? I already checked that out. It must have been over here. Yeah, it might it's probably over here because this is where dude is at. Okay, hold on, let's check this out. Eric, take a look at this. Yeah, Eric. So works. Take let's a look at out, this. Shall we? The tape is all tangled up. It's fine, I can fix that. So when did you stop wearing your wedding ring? When did you stop wearing yours? It didn't. Always close to my heart. Uh, detached. Stop wearing it the day I left. I've moved on, Eric. I haven't forgotten what this ring means to me. But maybe you're right. Maybe it's too late. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him he, you've been cheating on him. We need to let go, Eric. There's someone else now. I knew it. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and quickly. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath us. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity, for all mankind. Mary, I'm sorry. Damn, even in the Temple of Doom, they want to get killed. Go for me. What the hell is going on? I don't know, man. It was not supposed to play out like this. You mean you weren't supposed to encounter these weird old creatures in the Temple of Death? Goddamn place. Nope. You're not serious. That looks decades old. That's all we have. Can you see him? Yeah, he's 
coming. You can't die. You're the star of the game. Wait, what? No, I'm not gonna do it. Hell no. Still not gonna do it. So what, even if I didn't cut her loose, she was still going to fall anyway? She's got to be still alive. She's got to be still alive. Oh, hey, this dude. I was just mentioning this morning how we haven't seen this dude in forever. What nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? Oh, you tell me, man. Has been lost to the darkness. Uh, she'll be back. What of Jason and Nick? Brothers in arms, but are they really as close as they appear? Or will it be a case of each man for himself? Uh, that one. Let's not forget that they've already lost Corporal Merwin to the dark, and the night is still young. Which brings us to Salim. He seems level-headed, and almost Reluctant soldier, perhaps. An unwelcome fate now awaits our survivors, trapped beneath the earth, swallowed by the void. One by one, their lights will be snuffed out, unless you can find the means to save them. It's not my place to concern myself with the affairs of others, but it does keep things interesting. I can offer you some words of advice, as long as you are willing to keep this strictly between ourselves. Um... Yeah, sure, why not? Give me some advice. A prudent choice, all things considered. 
Long ago, I met a blind poet who impressed upon me these wise words. Long is the way and hard, and out of hell leads up to light. That's all for now. Rachel, where is she? Rachel! What happened to Rachel? Uh, she fell, man. We were ambushed by the enemy. He opened fire on us. <laughs> she fell. I held on. I held on as long as I could. Rachel! We gotta move. Colonel, we're sitting ducks. We need to fall back. Now. Over there. Let's go! So I wonder when Eric finds out back. that Nick was when Rachel was cheating on him with. That's gotta come up at some point. Iraqis are the least of our problems. They're not following. This is mailman to one actual to all call signs. How copy over? Joey, report in over. Joey's dead. The fuck you talking about? The Iraqis tore right through him. He died in my fucking arms. Oh no, not Joy. The hell are we gonna get out of this? We gotta lock this place down. Form a defense perimeter and buy ourselves some goddamn breathing space. Lieutenant, what did you mean when you said the Iraqis are the least of our worries? You believe in God? Absolutely not. We'll start believing. We are under attack by... I don't know what. And you wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, I don't believe in those there. Monsters. Well, that's a good, as good a way as any of putting it. Come on. You're jumping at Shatter. Sir, with all due respect. Lieutenant, we're trapped down here with an enemy Iraqi. Maybe more. Whatever you think you've seen, it's bullshit. These statues. Nick! Take a mental picture and snap the fuck out of it. What is this place? It's not the silos, that's for sure. This mission's a bust. I can fix this. The satellite. Look over the data to improve the algorithm. They're clearly teething problems. Uh, yeah. Oh, fuck your satellite. Good man. Exactly. Fly. Fuck your Where's satellite. Your wife is dead, Eric. You led us on a suicide mission. Hey. I'm still in command here. You'd better remember your rank, Lieutenant. I'll get us out of here. Mm-hmm. I don't think you will, man. Stay and guard the entrance. Go check it out. Okay, hold on, let's look around for shit. No, it's not letting us. Okay. We go over this way? No. So this is Saddam's chemical weapon silo, huh? <laughs> Run for the fucking hills. We're all doomed. So What's funny is we're back in this I fucking room again. Satellite system. Eric's gonna have some pretty tough questions to answer. I wouldn't like to be in those shoes. There's the generator. 
Let's go take a look. You need a hand here? I'm on it. Someone's taking a serious dislike to this thing. Sabotage. Looks it. Watch my back. Was that the good one or the bad one? Shit. Stop fucking around. Hurry up. Does it look like I'm fucking around? Good job, Sergeant. Stay alert. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. We're heading deeper. Over. Acknowledged. You be careful in there. Dropkick down. Cable split. Let's see what they lead to. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just walk by some? Hold on. Dude. 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 Oh, not gonna let me go back. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I go up to this way? No, nope, sure can't. Okay. This way. Fuck. Watch your step. There's a tripwire. Clear. It looks simple enough. Counter explosion? Nah. Just need to cut the trigger. Gotta be the guy who shot at Eric. Motherfuckers hunting us. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. Do you copy? Over. Dropkick receiving. How's it going out there, Kolchak? Your friend sprung an IED on us. We're good. you want to keep your eyes open in case he's left any more love notes. Over. Copy that. Moving up. Dropkick out. He's moving up. Shame you warned him about the tripwire. Now, hold on. Examine. Hmm. Uh oh. October the 21st, 1946. Crow was the first to break into the tomb. An honor he shared with Bessie, that damned machine gun of his. It was a beast of a weapon, but it seemed to comfort the fellow he doing the digging. This place has lain undisturbed for centuries. It is not the tomb of Alexander the Great, but a temple of an even older god-king. The Akkadian despot, Naram Sin. We have been mistaken, but Lady Bradshaw still declares it a find for the ages. A discovery that will write our names in the annals of history. Looking out at this sceptered hall, I have no reason to doubt her. I bet somewhere there's one of the expedition crew is still alive. I bet that one of them is still alive. Just a hunch. Okay. The hell? Okay. Some of these premonitions are just so damn vague. Dude, get off my ass. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's this? A puzzle of Tomb Raider epic proportions. 
Wait, do we want to go in there? Be waiting for us down there. Shh. Listen. Is that Joey? He's alive. Uh, which one is Joey? It's not possible. You heard him just now. It can't be. That is definitely him. It's this fucking place, Jason. I'm telling you, I saw him die. All due respect, buddy. You're not your usual self. Can't know for sure. It's a trap. We don't know that. We don't leave men behind. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Hey, somebody want to tell me what's going on here? We heard Joey through the tunnel. We think we heard Joey. It was him, all right. We're gonna rescue him. Let me remind you that I make the decisions. I'll lead the way. Okay, you lead the way. You first. Um. No, say nothing. Say nothing. Say nothing. Not without me, you don't. <laughs> I kind of like this guy. Not gonna lie. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff we can potentially check out. You need to have your nails trimmed, buddy. That's right, because if the bullets don't do anything to it, throwing a gun at it will. That's right, you tell him. Ooh, there you go. Hey, we got one. They really are like bats. Because it got the echolocation and shit. So the sonar. And I'm again. Okay, these are people we don't know.
Hmm. This seems like a bad idea. Hold on, hold on, examine. Okay, we can't see shit. Oh, there we go. I've never ever heard anyone say how copy ever. Is that legit? And why is it a thing? I don't understand how copy. He's in bad shape. We gotta move fast. Right to Corporal Gomez, right? Oh wait, jo was Joey the one that um Joey was the one who wanted to stay behind the desk. He died. Whatever's out there now. Sure, Shin and Joey. Well, in battle, these things are often difficult to judge. What's that supposed to mean? You could have been mistaken, Sergeant. I know what I saw. My God. We just have to hope he's still alive. We've lost enough today. I'm sorry, sir. How about Rachel? Is that so? Kolchak told me you people called her the queen bitch. Not by me. I knew her better than that. Especially when I was fucking her behind your back. I knew her a lot better. Check your weapons. Don't leave anything to chance. When the hell is it going to come out that this dude was sleeping with Guy's wife? Although something tells me they didn't do a whole lot of sleeping. Damn I saw pictures like this back at the temple. Best guess is the quakes open them up. Let's just keep going. Like, where? Where are we supposed to keep going, though? Corporal Gomez, this is Dropkick. You read me, over. This way? Oh, okay, this way. Clean up in What's aisle five. Thing? Something really fucking nasty went down here. <sighs> oh. This fucking place. Oops. What else we got? Heaped with unintelligible. <laughs> okay, another movie reel. Seventh of December, nineteen forty-six. Our finds have been so spectacular, I couldn't resist breaking out the champagne. As I entered the survey tent to pour a glass for Mary, I realized something was awry. She'd found Bradshaw's crate of dynamite. I tried to calm her, but she worked up a full head of steam, sounding off about the risks of <sighs> explosives at a dig site. She was right, of course. I feel terrible for hiding it from her. Just then, Crow arrived and picked up the dynamite. When Mary ordered him to put it down, he looked her boldly in the eye and said they'd found something below. 
Okay, and now we got something. What the hell did they find down there? Got something over here. There we go. Oh, another vague premonition. Okay. Like I said, vague premonition. Okay, now what? Around this way. Wait, 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 what's in here? Come with me. What the hell was that? No, I don't want to go back. What the hell was that? What did I find? Oh, nothing back this way. Okay. We know what we're facing now. Eyes wide. Stay frosty. Can I go up there? No. I don't need to tell you. You may not be alone. This is a perfect place for an ambush. Let's keep it slow and tight. No, double time. Joey needs us now. We gotta hurry. Joey, is that you? I do not think that is Joey, sir. Take it slow. Take it slow. Just be cautious. He's right. Advance with caution. <laughs> Wait, the bot, the, the lo lowest rank is telling these guys what to do? Mailman 2 1 actual. Come in, Lieutenant Over. This is Mailman 3 to Mailman 2 1 actual. Come in, Lieutenant Over. Mailman 3 to dropkick. Colonel, are you there? Over. Nah, you're on your own now, man. No. Okay, so this way is. Okay, yep, definitely nothing this way. Well, look, here we go on a bug hunt.
darkness, they burn in sunlight. Wait, what? Like any living being, they can be killed. When did we see that? Take from the heart. Your bullets will only slow them down. Even a truck falling on them just makes them angry. We do this together. Okay. Okay. We can kill it. You move into a flanking position and get its attention. I will do the rest. So, yes, be supportive. Be cool. I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh, nice. Well done. I've seen ugly in my life, but never that ugly. <laughs> Those things are everywhere. Never before have I ever seen anything so vicious. What do you think those things are? You know what? I, I don't know. I didn't think to ask. How about you? I don't know what they are. I shouldn't be here. I should be home with my son. I hear you. Family's everything. I should have never come here. It's his birthday today. Oh, man. You really shouldn't be here. How? Old enough to think he's a man. And he's only still a boy. He just turned 18. Whoa. <laughs> Big day. Big day. Let me tell you. Best present you can give him is to make sure you get home today. He is so not getting out of this. Me going. I hope he gets out of it, but I don't think he's going to. He's too sympathetic. Well, if we're in hell, I guess you should at least know my name. Nick K. Sergeant. Selim Osman. Lieutenant. Iraqi Army.
Shukra ni khuya. Mailman 2 and actual to Mailman 3. How copy over? Hey, solid copy, LT. I see your light. Keep moving forward. I'm just ahead. Over. I'm coming to get you. Your friends better not do anything dumb. Uh, get to cover. Get to cover just in case. Find cover. Go. Go. Although Jason knows that he's okay. My god. You were right. What the hell is that thing? Make sure ain't his pucker, don't it? Shit, Nick. You wax this thing all by yourself? No, did not. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. You had help. Sergeant Gay. You all right? No, you tell him, Nick. Hey, listen. No, 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 be, don't be. Don't be. No. Wait, what? No. We can take him alive, but we need to move now. That's not quite the response I wanted. Well, that's no, that's don't not how I it. wanted it. I don't want to hurt you. Don't make a mistake, you're gonna regret, soldier. I was trying to say, hey, now. dude's behind no. me. You lower yours first. Drop your weapon, or we will fire. Are you hearing me? Drop your weapon now. I didn't come this far to die by a trigger. Happy American! Wait. Who's that dude? There was some dude standing right behind him. Okay, well. That did not go as I planned. He's gone. I mean, we knew that dick was going to die some point in time, but it's like, only because I thought it was trying to, it would give me a, a different bearing on that option. I didn't think uh, Nick would be so fucked when he said, oh yeah, the rack is behind me. We're back to this room again? Holy shit. to spot them on the cameras. We should reset that trip wire. Give me a hand. We've been in some fucked up situations. Uh, one second, guys. Gonna grab myself a snack, and then we'll be right back.
Okay, got some home baked chocolate chip cookies and let's jump back in. Never as fuck as that. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. You know I always got your back, buddy. Come with me. This is something else. You don't think? I don't know how many places like this we bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. What's your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. Well, I don't remember them showing much respect for New York City a couple years back. So now all brown people gotta suffer, that it? That's not what I meant. You know me better than that. Yeah, I thought I did. All I'm saying is that this country has its fair share of monsters, right? Does it now? When we're back home, we'll laugh about it. Yeah, maybe you can tell me how you feel about us black folks. We still have the east flank to cover. Eyes open. Let's go. Christ, these doors took a hammer in. Those things must have come through here in force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. These creatures aren't dumb. They're predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before. They could come again. Okay, fortify the temple, let's go. Oh, we've seen this room before. It's the closest I've been to hell. We saw this, uh, like in the opening part. <clears throat> The dude and the one dude. Oh, hey, there's uh, Indiana Jones. a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated from beneath, casting its eldritch light over us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder, undisturbed by the world above. What's that? It says they found something weird down here. Yeah, no shit. Oh, that was Rachel. She is alive. Rachel still is alive. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we got another dude. We got another Indiana Jones person right here. Looks 
like he's been drained dry. It's gotta be one of those explorers. Wait, this is... Would you find Nothing that's gonna get us out of here. Well, this was that one dude's. give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. Looks like a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some chargers? Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. I'm more likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell the difference? We shouldn't underestimate them. If we mine the sides, we're more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Those things are devious fuckers. You're right. We plant the charges to the side of the hall. All right. They won't see this one coming. I can hear your brain taking away. What is it? Should have given her a second warning. Fuck, man, I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Yeah? What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. Why is it that no one ever tells it straight? Everyone just makes up bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? Those demons down there will kill you. But the demons in here will eat you from the inside out. You gotta let it go, man. I'm serious. Ah, so that's you. I'll move on. Yes, I have. I sure as hell have. Nah, I know you too good. When you lie, you always say things twice. First one to see how it flows. Second one to nail it down. Nikki, come on. You know I was seeing Rachel. Are you serious? Been three weeks. Arm. Found a camera here. Let's head back. Jason?
tip anything good. Is that light?
Hmm. I'm trying to try to take a drink of fruit punch and it wants me to run for my life. Is that Clarice? Run. It is. Go, go. We got Clarice back. Maybe not for much longer, though. <coughs> no. All right, good going, Clarice. Okay, now I can drink my fruit punch. Looks like a line out. Maybe we can get the radio working and send a signal out. It's worth a shot. A long shot. Oh, we don't even know if there's a working transmitter on the surface. Those wires gotta go somewhere, though. You think they still work? Well, looks to me like they just snagged up. Just as well. Don't feel much like climbing out there. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck, Joey? No. Yeah, no shit. What the hell? <clears throat> shit, Joey, it's me! <laughs> you think he may need a Snickers? Maybe. And hello, Leah. Welcome into the stream. How are you doing on your Saturday? You're tired? Yeah, about the same. We have to hurry. It's not safe here. You think? Me either. What was that thing? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not alone. Where have you been? One of those things got its dirty hands on me, dragged me down here, left me for dead. Fuck. Fuck doesn't even start to cut it. I'm lucky to have gotten away. You're talking to a scientist. There's no such thing as luck. You should be thankful I was there to help you. I appreciate it. Do that. I'm really grateful. Thank you. Semper Fi. We gotta find a way out of this hole. So, this is where you've been hiding out? Do you have any weapons? Uh, do you mind? <laughs> I just need some batteries for this damn light. You could just ask. That ever cross your mind? Looks painful. Yeah. It is. Think you can keep still? Um, I'm sure that probably won't last for much longer, Leah. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Well, uh, guess I'm a little glad too. Hey, we saw we've seen that before. In the shepherd's huts. 
These people must have been in the valley a long time. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's a way up. There's no way we're making it. Look at it. It's barely climbable. We can make it together. How did I know you were going to say that? I met Eric in climbing glass. I can get us out of here. Okay, here comes a quick time event. Got to be ready. Wait, what's that? The hell is that? Wait, did we really get out without any quick time events? Seriously? They really did learn their lesson from uh, Man of Medan. <clears throat> you okay? Yeah, just need a minute. The minute isn't gonna kill us. Until it does. You look terrible. Gee, thanks, Rachel. You ever think about going into motivational speaking? Seriously, though, are you okay? <laughs> no. It's gonna be about the dumbest question I have ever been asked. Give me the silent treatment, huh? Let's focus on survival. I think right now we should just focus on survival. It's no wonder they call you the queen bitch. Sad thing is, you don't even see it. See what exactly? You don't let anyone in. It's like there's a wall around you. No, not, not even a wall, a mountain. Tell me, Rachel. Is there even a real person behind there? It's not easy being queen bitch. You think I got where I am with a soft word and a warm smile? And here's me thinking you Langley types grew up on Easy Street. Easy Street? I had to graph to get here. You think it bothers me what people call me? I wear that shit like a badge of fucking honor. They have no idea of the shit hill I've climbed just to get to where I am right now. Yeah? And where is that exactly? Looks like another shit hill if I'm truly honest with myself. <laughs> you and I. We're not so different. You know, both doing what needed to be done to get to where we wanted to be. No shame in that. No shame. <coughs> she is so completely fucked. <laughs> the hell is going on with her? Oh, is she gonna become one of those things? She's gonna become one of those things, I, th I bet. Yeah, Rachel, you might want to run, hon. What did that thing do to you? Please! Please don't leave me down here alone! Uh, well, okay, we'll, we'll be reassuring you, though. I think it's a bad idea. Promise that you'll stay with me. I think this is such a bad idea. <laughs> I think this is such a bad idea. You have to me. What did that thing do to you? There's medication up there. It may help you, but we need to move now. <laughs> we have an anti-bat thing vaccination. Give me your hand. We're on the wrong side of the chasm. We'll never make it. <laughs> Don't quit on me now. Now, uh, Clarice, once you become one of them bad things, you can just fly on over there. We have to swing over. That rope won't hold. Wait! 
Do you really believe those medicines will help me? Yeah, keep reassuring her. Keep it together, Clarice. We're almost there. You didn't answer my question. Where I see it, it's your only hope. We can do this. Yes, the anti-creepy bat thing vaccine will help you for sure. No problem. Should have let Clarice go on first. Because she's obviously the one who's about to die. Let her go first and test the rope. We'll help her. We'll help her. I'd feel terrible abandoning, ba abandoning her. Okay. <coughs> that answer your question? We need to get you to the temple. What if vaccine do I don't know. Well, Rachel there seems to think that she's got something that will cure you know, bat thing itis. Sounds like they're having way more fun down there than we are up here. Over. As long as they keep the party to themselves, I'm happy. We got nothing on the cameras inside. Over. Eyes alive. Oh. Sorry, trying to watch my cat. Oh, looks like uh, he's probably going to die sometime soon. What else we got over here? Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back, back, back. What's that? What do we got here? Okay. Well, that was. Sh I didn't have any, hardly any time to look if around. From the chasm, if you feel an optimistic lieutenant, we're facing an enemy we know zero about. An enemy of unknown size on their home turf. Sucks to be us. It, it kind of sort of does suck to be you guys. Radio's our best shot. We fix it up, call in the cavalry, even shit up a bit. If there is a transmitter up there, it's gonna have a limited range. One thing Eric did manage to get right about this shit show. He gave us air support. Lord loves a miracle. If we get that signal out, our birds may be close enough to hear. Still means we have to find a way to reach him, of course. One problem at a time. Find the radio. Um, wouldn't that be just kind of following this cable? Okay, well, maybe not. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that it? Nope, I would say that's not it. That's just another one of vague premonition things. Oh, no, that's uh, another discovery. Okay. Is this the radio? 
Nope. So they do get transferred into these bat things, okay. Vampires. Fucking knew it. Vampires? These aren't vampires. Can I go back through here? No, no, it's not gonna let me go back there. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, I already looked at that. That's got to be the radio over there, right? Oh, yep, there is radio over here. Well, first of all, before we do that, let's look at this. Let's see what's going on over here. Clever fuckers. They set up a fake dig site to draw off grave robbers. They knew whatever was down here it was pretty special. Alrighty, now let's use that radio. Hello? Game? There we go. I'm going to need a hand to get this up and running. Thank you. Those things will kill you, Sergeant. Yeah, like smoking is the biggest threat to my life. <laughs> You don't have your lighter. Rachel picked it up. It's just a ghost signal. Even without a transmitter, a radio picks up a faint signal. It's just ghost, man. So fix that transmitter. If we can establish a signal and contact CENTCOM, then we're one step closer to home. I don't know, man. I'm no technician. If Merwin was here, though, he could fix it. No shit. Embrace the suck. Well, Merwin died a while back, so... Oh, shit, it's that dude we accidentally pissed off. Kill that guy, kill him, kill him, kill him. Here come the bat things. 
Get that transmitter working now! I need more time! Oh, way to go. Oh, he shot it. That's why that blew up. Oh, there you go. Hello there, Wabbit. Out, Marine. Uh. Saw those things take you. Where's Eric? He did. He's gone. He's dead. D E D dead. He was a solid dude. Uh, he's kind of a dick, actually. What happened to him? Rachel, um... Tell me. Um, you might want to watch Clarice there. He was shot by one of the Iraqis. Is Iraqi still alive? He is. And he's close. You guys got problems. You guys all got a lot more problems than the Iraqis. She's turning into one of those things. Why'd you bring her? She needs our help. She's beyond help. She shouldn't be here, Green. We got Wait! Defiant, defiant, defiant. You answer to my orders. There's gotta be something we can do to help her. It's not too late. We can save her. You're both fucking nuts. Look at her. Don't let emotion cloud your judgment. Think about it, Nick. Show some mercy, please. I am showing mercy. Ah! 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 
While these guys are standing around arguing about it, she's becoming fucking Dracula. Fuck. Fuck. This is on you. Get her to the supply tent. Now. Remember to watch for the tripwires. We need. Is this place mined? Not mined enough. <laughs> it's not mined enough. <laughs> oh shit! Right behind you! Right behind you, girl. I ain't out of this fight yet. Oh. No, you're not. Come on, let's go. You got that big bad boy too. I think now's about the time we bug out. Any objections? Where are you gonna go? They're breaking through the perimeter. You got any bright ideas? Now's the time. Oh, come on, come on. There's gotta be something. Wait! Yes! Okay, we can make for the catacombs. We need to go down. Helm, in case you missed it, that ain't the way out. It's either that or we die where we stand. Everyone, move to the east gate. Fire, 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 fire. wasn't one of your better ideas, Reach. Now we're talking. That's why I opened up a can of whoop-ass on them.
could be a problem. Oh, wait, they don't like fire. Wait, we got that white phosphorin shit. Why don't we use that on them? Oh, you still got that dude. Hello again. My friend is not happy. Yeah, I can see that. What happened up there? Your friends are a little too jumpy for my liking. It's making me nervous. Lowering your weapon might help alleviate some of the tension. Make a move. I fucking dare you. I feel like our uniforms are getting in the way of what could be a beautiful relationship. <laughs> Shut up! Was it him? Don't do this, Rachel. Did he kill Eric? <sighs> Bad move. I say we drill these sorry looking motherfuckers. I'm gonna be all the way. Nick, deal with this shit. The way I see it, your choice is pretty simple. Lose the weapons and walk out of here alive. Or I fill you full of holes. Drop your weapons. I am warning you. Don't test us. What about Clarice? What's going on with her? Them. We must get this door open. Why are you standing there? Help! Don't even think about it. Fuck, Jason! The enemy of our enemy is our friend. Move! Come on, man! Did to the colonel. I had no choice. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's Clarice. Malhadi. Hyena. Mateka Mosada. Come on, Clarice. What's wrong with her? What's wrong with
looks like the worst place in the goddamn world. <laughs> Well, uh, kill her now, Rachel. Just kill her. Kill her. Kill her. She's probably going to come up as one of those things in a minute. Oh, fuck. They are so fucked. Famous last words, the demons, you were right. Who is that? Oh, that's dude. That's that dude. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try the crucifix. Why not? If these are vampires... He's laughing at it. But a rifle wouldn't do, have done anything either. You guys have got to be running low on ammo. He did. Stay close.
teach you to mess with a marine. I come in peace. Don't you fucking move. You alone? Anyone else make it? It all happened too fast. I think it's just you and me. Just you and me, huh? Well, that's just fucking great. I don't mean you any harm. I swear. No shit. I'm the one holding the gun. You looking for trouble? Says the American with the gun. <laughs> we don't have to be friends. But we can be allies. That's something I can get on board with. Okay. If I think for one second you're trying to cross me, best believe me. The following second you're dead. I kill vampires. You think I'm afraid of a jarhead? I have trouble wrapping my head around the fact that these are vampires. That looks like our best way through. One of us holds up the gate. The other can slip through. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. You got any idea what we're dealing with? They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. Yeah, it's beginning to look like that. Okay. What's the first thing you're going to do when we get out of here? So far, none of that stuff means anything at all to me. Oh, I need to sneeze. Okay, that's much better.
9 p.m. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Cocoons? Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? <clears throat> had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me. And only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. You seem like you got your head screwed on. So I gotta ask. What the hell made you sign up with Saddam? For us. We had no choice. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to go around like this. Okay. Is there anything over here? Nah, okay. Back to the door. Is the meaning of those markings on your hand? It's just a cap. Why do you care? Just trying to make conversation, my friend. Get it through your thick skull. We ain't friends. I have no grievance with you. Maybe you need to switch on the news. <laughs> Listen. There was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. Well, that's ain't good. How is it none of these guys are out of ammo yet? Oh, that's one way to get the door open. Almost got Jason, too. I say we get the fuck out of here. That sounds like a great plan.
looks to me like a medical bay. This could come in handy. If you want to stick 60 year old explosive in your bag, be my guest. <laughs> Uh, he clearly has no problem with it. Um, hold on. Wait, 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 back. Do you want to hear? January 1947, 1 a.m. The saboteur has struck again, sealing us in here. We are hopelessly trapped with those things. All around us, they shriek from the darkness. Crow has set up his machine gun, pointed towards the catacombs. Mary was right. We cannot fight that which does not live. There is only one option now. Bring the whole damn temple down on them. Even if it means bringing it down on our own heads. They cannot be allowed out of here. <sighs> Dude. Dude, you're going to have to let me get through. Dude. Holy shit. He's blocking me in here. Are you fucking serious? Can I slip past now? Dude. There we go. Okay. Uh, so he's starting to... Like trigger my fucking claustrophobia. He was blocking me in there so badly. Hmm. Uh, there's nothing in there, and I don't want to get blocked in again. Whatever's down there, those explorers got there first. Now hold up, will you? What are you doing? You think they're still alive? That's hopeful. Hope is all we got left. Place a jack in the box. <sighs> what do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. You see that elevator cable? The explorers must have gone down. I don't think they made it back up. You think? That winch still looks functional. No. No? We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists? 
Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fired up. Crazy. <clears throat> Those vampires come from anywhere down there. You really want to fight them in their own home? That's what I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working. This dude is full of terrible ideas. Ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? One returns to the light, while the other goes out forever. Poor Eric. <sighs> Bad luck. But then again, Eric cheated death once before back on that highway perhaps death finally caught up with him let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen sergeant k those taken by the abyss seldom live to tell the tale as for jason and salim Sworn enemies cannot seem to bury the hatchet unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing line, or to bury what remains of them under it. <laughs> 